Welcome back to another Rat Face 44 Reviews. My name is James, and today we have G.I. Joe Classified Series Doc. So let's get this started. So before we get this started, big shout out to DJC Collectibles for hooking me up with this. Let's take a look at the packaging. It looks pretty cool. These are the basic uh, new packaging from Hasbro. Um, really awesome. Like I was saying before in the previous video, that they're nice and slim and they pack very tightly. Quality cardboard. You see the same old uh, kind of G.I. Joe logo, Hasbro logo, and you got uh, his full name here, Carl Doc Greer. Looks really cool. This side of the packaging, we have the artwork. Pretty sweet. Check that out, 122 in the line. And on the back of the packaging, you have Doc here in the field. Some houses burning in the background. You got, a, you got the freaking helicopter flying around. He's holding on to a flare gun. I'm not sure why he's holding on to a flare gun right now. Uh, you got some zoom in acts. <laughs> you got some zoom in aspects of the figure's details. Boring stuff on the bottom. And on this side of the packaging, you have the attributes, a QR code, GI Joe logo. Nice display of the figure in the plastic here. Displays really nicely. Unfortunately, you can't really see the uh, stretcher in the back there. It's kind of covered up. All right, so let's open up the figure. So I got my trusty scalpel here and we're gonna go in from the bottom here. There's one piece of tape. There it is. And stay tuned. At the end of this video, we have a vintage comparison. And there is Doc in the plastic. So I'm gonna take Doc out of the plastic, so just give me a moment. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories from smallest to biggest. First, we have Doc's sunglasses. These look awesome. Nice translucent lens in green. Very, very small. So be careful not to lose those. <laughs> and next we have, it looks like a taser gun. Um, some nice little molding details on here. First time seeing this in the line. No hole for blast effects. Obviously, it's a taser. <laughs> And next we have the flare gun and it does have a hole for blast effects. It's in, in orange and black. Check that out. Very neat. And next we have this medical pack. These are all kind of module. So you could plug them into his vest. It has a nice print of the, uh, you know, the cross and uh, down at the bottom here. I'm not exactly sure what that is. That looks really cool. And next we have a holster and it also has a plug and uh, that's probably for the flare gun or the taser and next we have his helmet check that out nice little orange detail here i'm not exactly sure what that is maybe some uh, meds it looks like a <laughs> uh, little orange canister it has a chin strap done in this dark green and we have this nice sand color so there it is there is all the excess or the small accessories all right, here is one of the largest accessories here. This is the stretcher. Check it out, done in this green plastic. It has some nice uh, molded details, kind of like material uh, details on there. Very cool. There is a plug here on the back of them and then it's hinged so you can fold it up. That is very cool. Got some handles. Or it has kind of like uh, these little uh, kind of legs here so they could hold up the stretcher very cool just like the vintage so stay tuned later on we'll have a vintage comparison i don't know if i mentioned that before <laughs> all right guys let's go ahead and take a look at the figure check out let's go ahead and zoom in on his face so here is doc very very cool check that out old man doc it looks really cool he has some uh, gray on his hair very nice sculpted details. You can see the wrinkles in his face. Let's go ahead and do the wiggle test. <laughs> and uh, obviously it is super tight. Um, it's, it's hard to tell whether uh, this ab crunch is loose, especially with this uh, vest that's this is non removable. I am assuming I don't see anything here that kind of uh, will, will be able to take off the vest. Um, this is kind of the uh, first thing that uh, 
I wish Hasbro would do is have a removable vest and we all know they can do that. So when I was messing around with it, I noticed that some of the packs here are removable also here. There's plugs and holes so you can put them anywhere you want or remove them all. You know, I'm still on the fence of what are the, whether I like this um, vest or not. Um, I, I have to mess around with it, uh, mess around with it a little bit more. So speaking of vest, let's go ahead and take a look at the vest. We, uh, I've already showed that you can remove a lot of these little packs from the vest. Um, we have a nice orange detail here. Looks like maybe kind of zip ties, maybe. I'm not sure what that little detail is right here on the vest. Let's kind of zoom in on that. Yeah, I'm not too sure, but it's a nice little detail. On her shirt here, we got Medic printed on there. Nice little tampo. And the vest has all these kind of straps and kind of these little little strap details here. Packs are removable, just like how I showed you. He has a red belt with a lot of little kind of pocket sculpted in there. Silver belt buckle. Got the pants uh, belt here showing. I like the uh, his outfit. The sandy color is very cool. Rolled up sleeves. And we see on the shoulder here, we got the medic symbol, which is really cool. Double jointed elbows. Got trigger fingers. Uh, his joints are nice and tight. Let's take a look at the uh, butterfly joints. Looks pretty good. Nice and tight. Moving down here, he has a holster uh, for uh, either the taser or the flare gun. Uh, we got a nice med, med pack here on his thigh with this red um, strap detail, beige kind of sandy pants, double jointed knees. They move very easily. They're not locked up. So far, so good. The quality control on this figure is on point. It's very good. We got his pants that go over his boots. And obviously there's gonna be a little bit of a hindrance with the uh, ankle pivoting and stuff like that. So this is basically, I'm thinking this is all brand new sculpt. Let me know in the comments section down below whether this, maybe this could be Duke's uh, upper body. So now we have these little packs falling off, which is a, a little annoying here. So there you have it. There is Doc, a very cool looking figure. Uh, it's going to go great with the rest of the classified figures. And you know Hasbro is going to do a uh, retro carded dock, hopefully without the vest. All right, guys, let's go ahead and gear up dock. It looks like maybe this holster will hold the flare gun. Yeah, that one fits a little bit better, I'm guessing. Um, I know there was a holster on his thigh. It might be interchangeable. Don't quote me on that. No, it doesn't look like it fits. So it looks like the taser will fit on his holster here and this one will fit on the modular um, pack here. Um, I'm not 100% sure where you want to put it. I guess uh, anywhere you want. I would expect it would be on the chest like that. Check that out. Next, we have the taser. I'm just going to throw it in to this holster on his thigh. That looks awesome. And next, we have another pack and uh, you know, putting this somewhere, I guess there's a lot of pieces maybe we could uh, we could interchange and maybe customize of where you want to put it. I think this one on the chest looks kind of cool because it has kind of a tempo on it. So I think that looks really cool with the uh, medical pack uh, tempo on here. It gives it a little, a little bit of extra detail on the figure. And we have the tiny little shades and it fits nice and tightly. How about that? That looks really cool. You can see his eyes right through the shades. Very cool. I really like that. And we have the helmet and obviously you can't put the helmet on with the <laughs> while he's wearing the shades. So let's give that a try. I figure we have to take the head off since he has a chin strap. It'll make it a little bit easier to put this head on the helmet or Helmet on the head. <laughs> there it is. And this will, I guess, complete your dock here. Ready for action. And the shades, I hope they could fit. So 
after a little bit of fan dangling, I was able to put the shades on Doc here. The trick is, is to squeeze his helmet in the front here to make some space by his ears, and then you can be able to slip on the shades. You know, we have, we do have extra packs here. So you could interchange any way you want it. So we have the stretcher, future James here. I forgot to add that you can put the stretcher on his back here. So I put it at the lower hole on the vest. That way he can hold all his accessories, but unfortunately there are extra packs. So these will be in storage. And this is how I'm gonna display my dock. So this is pretty awesome figure. Wow, I am uh, impressed with this figure. Quality is very good. I love the details. This is a very nice surprise. I wasn't expecting uh, this to be that good. <laughs> to tell you the truth, like in hand, he looks awesome. And let me know in the comment section down below how you're gonna display your dock. You're gonna put his shades on or with the helmet or without the helmet. So let's go ahead and do a vintage comparison. So here is my complete dock with stretcher, unbroken tabs on here. Let's go ahead and do a quick comparison. Check that out. Uh, obviously, like I was saying about the vest for the classified, um, you know they're gonna make a, a retro carded dock without the vest, the color. The color is pretty on point here. Uh, you know, uh, even the white, you, the details, even the white undershirt uh, matches up. So he is wearing his shades with the helmet. Um, maybe later on I'll try to squeeze in the shades and the helmet on the classified one here. Check that out. That looks really cool. Uh, I really like the uh, vintage Doc. He's one of my top 10 figures in the vintage line. So here is the stretcher, very reminiscent of the same. You know, it would have been cool having the uh, vintage one have the fold. It will probably, a lot of these would be uh, survivable over the years because this is a very brittle piece. So that's really cool. Uh, speaking, uh, looking at the tampos, we do have a tampo on his uh, sleeve here. It's hard to make out. So there you have it guys, there is my review of G.I. Joe Classified Series Doc. What do you guys think about this figure? I think he looks pretty freaking awesome. You know, I'm, it's a very nice surprise uh, with this figure uh, for myself. Uh, I was not expecting how cool it would be. It, you know, the renders did look cool, but in hand it is a totally different story. Um, the quality is on point for at least for my copy, which is very, nice change since the last review i've done um it's you know with quality like i was saying but with hasbro it's all over the place you know i wish there was a little bit more consistency with the quality so if you enjoyed my review please like comment and subscribe it would be greatly appreciated shout out to all my subscribers so shout out to the people who comment on my videos i'm, I'm you guys are awesome. Thank you very much. And Yojo and Cobra.